Hey Capeaholics, I'm excited to bring to you the Lippard LP Tank Sensor. It's taking the guessing out of how much fluid or propane is in your tank. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Capeaholics! All right, Campaholics, aside from are the doors locked, the next big question I always get is, do we have any fuel in the gas tanks? Or do we have any propane in the propane tanks? How much propane do we have left? Can I get this done? Do we have enough propane? There's no more guessing. No more guessing with the Lippert LP tank sensor. I'm going to show you how to install it. Here we go. All right, it's real simple. Once you get it out of the box, they're on. you're going to have a sensor on here, and you're going to tap it five times. Now first thing you got to do is if you don't have it download the Lippert One Touch Control app because this is a Bluetooth enabled based off the uh, Lippert One Touch Control app and I'm going to show you that right here as soon as I find my app. This is the One Touch Control app right there right there at the bottom. Simply tap open your app get logged in and this was what it looks like. So this is going to Bluetooth into this app and it's going to show you how much propane you have left in the tank. Now the way you do this, the way you sync it is, you tap this sync button five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you hold it down once. You hit your Lipper One Control app right here. Hit the plus and it takes you to the liquid propane tank sensor. Click that. Push the pair. Connect. Tap this one more time. And it's successfully paired with your touch control. Now here's a drop down menu. This is our tank number two. RV tank two. Okay. And you change the size to a 30 pound vertical. Okay. Confirm. Bingo. That's it. It's all connected. You're ready to mount this on your tank. What you do is you flip your propane tank over, peel off the protective backing for the magnet, and in your pack you're going to have a type of grease and feet for the bottom of the tank. You may or may not need these. The reason I do not need these is I'll show you. Now our propane station has these two legs that come out so the actual sensor is not sitting on the surface so it will be, would not be crushed by the tank so therefore uh, we don't need them in our scenario. However if you have a total flat bottom and your tank is sitting on that flat bottom then you will need these feet to lift the tank up so the sensor is not crushed. Primer mounting, you want to clean the surface off where the magnets want to go. Brush it off there. You're going to take your tank sensor and you're going to apply pea size amount of grease right there in the center on the rubber part of the sensor. That's also the magnet. And all you do is just pop it right down and that is it. So now I'm going to change this one to RV Tank 2. It's a 30 pound tank and it's telling me I have 25% of propane in this tank but again it's right now it's upside down so what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over the instructions say give it five minutes come back and check it check the volume on it and it should increase now that we turn the tank back over but if not we'll uh, check it out here We'll give it five minutes and bingo, just like that, it's telling us that we are 75% capacity. All right, so our sensors are telling us uh, my tanks, which is already put in the storage bay. Uh, tank one is at 100% because I just filled it up about a half hour ago. And tank two is 70%. This is tank two. It's a 70% capacity. All right, Camp Hawks, 
Thanks for watching this little setup video of the Lippert LP tank sensor kit. I'm going to get one now for the barbecue grill tank. Uh, I think that's going to be beneficial. I am excited about this. It's taking the guesswork out of the LP setup and uh, it's just going to make RVing this aspect of it just a little bit easier. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.